Okay, so uh, we've installed the instrument panel in the boot cowl. You see this panel here is removable. This panel tilts forward, so it's hinged at the bottom. It's at a 30 degree angle to this post, which the kit has this, has the panel pretty much uh, in line with that. So we've got a better, better way, a, a better view angle when sitting in the top seat. One thing I learned is that uh, when you dimple holes in sheet metal and one inch, one inch, excuse me, one eighth inch holes get dimpled, the Clicos really don't hold as well. So this will get sucked down once the, once I get my uh, nut plates in there. So there's the boot cowl and there's the engine. I've had it sitting on that thing for probably a month and it's still not on. Let's go talk about, let's talk about this uh, engine bracket. This is a type two dynafocal. And we're gonna talk about these ears that are mounted to the engine. Um, this has been a real fiasco, trying to get this mounting bracket situation resolved. So it's pretty in depth. So I think I'll start off by showing, this is the, this is the ear that came on the engine when the engine was shipped to me. We later learned that this is what's called the Type 1 ear, and we were expecting the Type 2 ear to be delivered or installed. So what is the, what's the difference? Type, the Type 1 ear is basically at 30 degree angle. So here's this one to this one, the Type 1 is angled further back. It's also got an inch and an inch and three eighths hole. We didn't realize this until a lot of digging. I tried to install that engine, I think two or three times, and we could not get it to fit. And what we realized was they're they're, they're sending the engine out with an older style Type One mounting ear, and it does not go on with a Type Two dynafocal mounting engine mounting bracket. So they finally send us the Type 2. All right, so now we've got the right ears to match up to the mounting bracket. We think, we think we're getting somewhere. But then we find out we're not sure what isolator we need to, to use with this Type 2 because anytime you call Aircraft Spruce, Chief, anybody, and you, and you say, I want to order an isolator, what, 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 what's your plane? Is it a Mooney? Is it a Bonanza? Is it a Cessna? No, I'm building an experimental Bearhawk. Well, I can't tell you. I don't know. So after some digging, uh, found some support forums on the internet. Bearhawk's got a support forum. And uh, finally came out with, finally came and uh, finally figured out that the, the, the part number I need is a J-9, I don't have my glasses on, but I think it's 9513, or excuse me, 9613-12, J-9613-12, from Lord. When it arrived, it comes in two pieces. One's silver, and one's kind of goldish color. What you see in this box is what I got, nothing. No instructions, nobody knows what the orientation is onto the engine mounting bracket. It fits, it fits into the ears. So I know this is the right one, but this one is a little bit thicker than this one. And then you get this big, big washer and I don't know, don't know where it goes. So we've called around, uh, again, went back onto some forums, uh, didn't come up with much until I called Lord, which I should have done from the beginning, I guess. Uh, and they said, well, well, we'll just send you the plans. I said, perfect. I got the plans, and now it shows exactly, I don't think you can see it on here, but it shows exactly how this is to be oriented. And it's, and, and it's, a, it's different on the top and bottom. 
So on the top, the gold part, the gold color, goes in on this side, or, or excuse me, goes on the bottom, but on the bottom it goes the other way around. So not, not only is there a specific way you mount this, there's a specific way you mount it depending on what, whether it's on the top or the bottom of the bracket. Okay. I think I'm ready to install my engine, but I got another problem. It's an AN7 bolt, fits into the bracket, but it's too short. So what am I gonna do? Nobody says anywhere what the, what the prescribed bolt is for this isolator. It shows the bolt with the castle nut on the end on the plans, but it doesn't specify what the size is. So I have to guess. I take my bolt gauge, I take my isolator, and I take my bolt gauge here, and I've got a I've got a pretty close idea that it's either an AN 735, 36, 35, and 34. I don't know which one. So I just had to order all four. I had to order all three of those, four each. It's 50 bucks worth of bolts right there. Probably only needed 15 dollars worth, but I don't I don't I can't just keep ordering. So I'm ordering these. Uh, and that's where I'm at. So it's been been a real challenge to get the engine installed. Um, I was hoping to get it done this weekend, but this is too short. Uh, hopefully I'll get them, I don't know, into next week. But then we've got Oshkosh coming up. So I, I don't know when the engine's going to be installed. So I've been probably, I know at least six weeks delayed in installing the engine and obviously progress in, in the build itself. So. I hope this helps somebody because this was a real fiasco finding out what the type 1 dynafocal engine mount, type 2 dynafocal engine mount, the isolators, the, the bolts, I mean it's, it's just not an easy thing to, to come across. So I hope somebody sees this video and they, they get some help out of, uh, out of what we've talked about today.